In fact, we are following two breaking stories at 11. A violent evening in our region turned into a deadly night. Two teenagers were shot today after school hours. Now at 11, both are dead. Thanks for joining us, everyone. I'm Sean Yancey. And I'm Jim Adley. These two cases are not connected. One is in D.C., the other in Prince George's County. But both scenes carry all the usual hallmarks of gun violence. Crime scene tape, evidence markers, distraught witnesses, and once again, young victims. We begin tonight with the student killed just steps from Duval High School in Lanham, Maryland. Her life was cut short moments after the bell rang for dismissal. News 4's Jackie Benson reports police now believe the shooter was aiming for someone else. Her potential, uh, quite frankly, boundless, her dreams and aspirations and talent, uh, promising. Uh, she was a dedicated student, a beloved daughter, cherished friend. Prince George's County officials were visibly shaken as they gave what few details are currently known about the fatal shooting on Palomar Drive, an entrance to the Woodstream development directly across the street from Duval High School. A student, believed to be 16, was shot and killed just yards from school grounds minutes after classes ended for the day. Police say the first hours of the investigation indicate she was not likely the target, but instead caught between two groups. There was a dispute between two groups. During this dispute, a gun was uh, shot and our victim was tragically killed. Personal items, including a school system issued computer case, were scattered over the ground. This is a sad day in Prince George's County. This is heartbreaking. The superintendent of schools says Duval was scheduled to be in the second round of schools to receive security enhancements this year, but that will now be speeded up. Bianca, whose niece and nephew live in the neighborhood, says it's not enough. You're not safe at school. She's walking home from after school, a 16 year old girl. Really shot in the head. There's the possibility that there were other students here, witnesses who may have in their fear run home and have not yet spoken to police. Police need to hear from them. In Prince George's County, Jackie Benson, News 4.